Brandon says, please hire me to work with you. I'm dead serious. You know, Brandon, if I ever get the opportunity to cr do like a contract work or something, I've been actually been thinking about reaching out to this network of people to bring people in. It's something I've been thinking about, so don't get your hopes up. Like I might have the opportunity. You never know. Like I've been getting some crazy offers and stuff. So you, you never know. Joseph says, that's definitely my goal. A goal of mine for sure. I appreciate the positivity. Good vibes and positivity goes a long way. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome. Yep, been studying for the CISSP. Failed it a couple years back. I'm back on the horse, man. Don't stop. It's worth it, man. Combination of CISSP and knowing information system security officer stuff has changed my life significantly. I'm not without a job. Like right now, I'm in between jobs. Let me just share with you this. Right now, I do not have a job. I'm in another country. And I'm able to do this because over time, I was able to create a bunch of other revenue streams doing all kinds of completely unrelated businesses that I do on the side. By the way, a lot of the security guys that I know are do the same thing. They all have these side hustles. I don't know what it makes us do this. I don't know why 90% of the people who I talk to have some sort of side hustle. I'm not sure because I don't see that with IT people. I don't see regular IT people typically doing this, but every time I talk to another cybersecurity person, they always have some kind of side hustle and it's not like they're broke. I don't know what drives us to be like this. I'm not sure, but I know a dude who is making five figures on the side here and there doing NFTs. Almost all of them are into cryptocurrency. Some of them are doing real estate on the side, have side businesses. They all make six figures. So I don't know like, what is happening. I'm not sure like why we have this independent spirit. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but I've had it from the beginning and I can, I can only speak for myself. The reason why I do is because I don't trust companies. Companies are not what they used to be. And I'm not trying to be negative or anything, but they don't have your back. They don't care about your family. I'm jaded. <laughs> You gotta take care of yourself. That's what I learned. And so you, you gotta take care of what you gotta do for you. The other day I saw a TikTok video with this girl, this woman was crying because she got let go by a Salesforce or something. I don't know, it was a good company and they, they were doing these massive layoffs. I don't know if it was Zoom or Sales. It's one of these really good companies and they did this massive layoff and she's crying. And I wanted to just laugh because it had happened to me, something like that. I didn't cry about it, but like she put so much of her hopes and dreams in this company like her her dreams were dashed you know it's like what were you thinking i was that person like i thought that once i got out of the military i was gonna make all this money and go to this company companies don't care about you nobody cares about you except for you nobody cares about you more than you care about yourself take the time to reinvest in your own future and don't put your eggs in one basket